Welcome to the Salon Vanguard channel. Today we are unboxing one of each Card Fight Vanguard Overdress Start Deck. These are essentially Bushiroad's way of saying, hey, come try out our amazing game. It is extremely cheap. These are $5 each, so you can literally use $25 and suddenly have five decks to choose from. Maybe give one to a friend or lend one to a friend. Have fun, try out each nation and basically get started playing the game. This is not like Yu-Gi-Oh! where you need to buy three to have all your pieces. One deck is basically play ready. I've been looking forward to this day for quite a while. Now, if you still need anything from Overdress, whether you need to order these or pre-order some nation bundles, go to 50cards.shop and use the code SOLEM for a discount. So, let's get cracking. Personally, Stoikea is my favorite nation, so we'll start with this one. Let's see what they changed. As you know, I've been playing Vanguard for many, many years. It's actually interesting how much smaller these boxes are. Like, look at my hands. These boxes are so much smaller than the old trial decks. I assume this is because obviously they had to they had to save somewhere. So as you can see, the cards here are a bit loose, but that's totally fine. And then we have a playmat here. But if you're a veteran, then uh, you already know what this looks like. We have our cards. Let's zoom in here. Oh, they are they are being held together by this little plastic. Here we have our grade three Magnolia, our boss unit. Okay, so one is foil, and then the others are not. Okay. So we have our four copies, as you can see. And then straight to grade twos, because this deck doesn't need more than that. Okay, so I'm guessing only your boss is actually foil. So these are your uh, ride line. Man, this this thing is so cute. It's like a Snorlax meets a Bulbasaur. Is that what people are saying? It's a Bulbalax or something like that. Oh, uh, then this cutie, also part of your ride line. Now we have a vanilla, no skill, just glory. Looks like a mega colony unit. Then we have this beautiful tiger. We have this Neo Nectar looking babe. And we have this other Neo Nectar looking musketeer kind of guy. Overall, the, the game plan of this deck, by the way, is to just bash your opponent in the face with as many attacks as possible. Magnolia makes it so all of your rear guards in the back can just smash your opponent's face. Usually they can't. And then you just attack a lot. That's basically the deck. There's not much to it beyond that. We have all our Sentinels, which is amazing. Back in the day, you only had one. We have our Over Trigger. Super busted stuff. But of course, once you go into the actual main sets, uh, you do replace this one with a new one because it's basically better in, in many ways. We have our adorable Triggers. I'm very excited to play these in premium as well. Look at that cutie. Then we have our Draw Triggers. Wow, another cutie. As you can see, a lot of animals. Kind of looks like Great Nature. Uh, then we have a Front Trigger. An ape. Now, basically, every clan has a front trigger in premium as well. Not that that will actually show up much. And then this beautiful heal trigger right here. Uh, finally, we have two orders as well. So if you're if you haven't played in a while, uh, orders are basically like spell cards or like instants or sorceries in Magic. This one is a Blitz order, which you can use in your opponent's turn. Next up, let's head into Tomari, Tomari Seto. We know Team Megumi are the true winners here, but still, Tomari is allowed to exist as well. I won't be showing you the, the playmat every single time. We just go straight to the cards. Look at that. So this deck is essentially a control-ish deck, a floodgate-ish deck, not really, but you're essentially stealing your opponent's units and putting them into a prison. So if you like a, a mechanic like that and you also like your police waifus, then this deck is for you. Uh, once again, this is the right line. Uh, more police waifus. I, I don't really know what else to say about them, really. Like, you just put stuff into a prison and that's it. That's how far this nation goes, at least in this deck, obviously. You have another ride line in this nation as well that doesn't play that way. Um, this is a Dimension Police looking guy. So we do have multiple grade 3s in this particular deck, unlike the Stoikea one. More DP looking guys. Overall, obviously, once you head into DBT01, you will start replacing some of these. Especially like these vanillas that don't really do anything. They're just a way to make you learn the game, I guess. Uh, then we have this cabinet. Very, very fun. And uh, then we have RPGs. I guess this is the, the, the monster looking type thing. Like a Japanese kaiju. Is this a kaiju? Is this supposed to be a kaiju? And then we have our over trigger with our triggers. Also, this thing is uh, adorable. So from now on, if I'm playing Chaos, I can actually use a cute critical trigger. And we have our draw. And our front. And our heal. 
I really like this heal. Too bad we can't use it in premium. I mean, you can, but it would just be worse because of 15k shield. And then finally, we have our uh, prison right here, or prison order. This is where you put your opponent's units, and then they become this guy. Very, very sad. Next up, let's head into Yuyu, our protagonist. Personally, this is the nation that I enjoy the least, but that's okay. If they're good, I'll still play them, obviously. But if I have my choice, I prefer playing something like Stoikea. Then second would be Dark States for me. Then we would go into Keter, then Tomari, and then the Dragon Empire. Regardless, if you like fiery dragons, this is your deck. So here, this is all about overdressing, meaning you are changing your egg into a bigger monster. Kind of like a Digimon. Does, does Digimon have that? I don't even know. Uh, so once again, this is your ride line. This is a uh, fiery dancers to summon your beautiful dragon. We have our starter, an egg, but it isn't actually the egg. Uh, it's it's Trickstar. Trickstar isn't actually an egg. I don't know what I'm saying, but you're changing Trickstar, overdressing it into uh, something bigger. So this grade three is cute, but this is what you overdress into. So you have your Trickstar and you transform it into this, and then you get a bunch of extra skills. So it's kind of like an an evolution type deal. So then we have a vanilla dinosaur thing. Once again, you'll probably be cutting this. Uh, then we have our sentinels, our PGs, perfect guards. This is Trickstar. This is the cutie. So this whole deck literally revolves around. You place this, you call this over it, and boom, you have overdressed. And now you get a bunch of other skills. And once again, we play a bunch of this because you do want to be doing that consistently. We have our over trigger, and then we have our beautiful, beautiful triggers. Crits. Draws. More draws. And then our fronts with our heels. Once again, we have orders right here. This will let you recycle your overdress guy whilst also powering stuff up. Next up, we have Danji. This is the hero for many people who are uh, watching the anime. This is a uh, very Spike Brothersy as far as looks go. You'll see we have our uh, evil demonic football guys. Bruce right here. Very strong deck. Might be one of the best ones. Uh, if you're looking to play best deck, this might be it. Or maybe it's Bastion. Uh, our wide line. This is a good boy as well. We have our Vanillas. Man, this Vanilla looks so cool. They should have given it a good skill. Cure Chronicle looking thing. Uh, Pale Moon looking thing. Then we have our Perfect Guards. An Over Trigger. A very cute Critical Trigger. If that's what you're into. Uh, draws. Once again, you always have draws. You always... Oh, wow. I'm not saying anything. I, I'm just saying wow. Uh, and then we have our heals, finally ending with, again, some orders. Uh, these will just build your soul. Final deck, we have Keter Sanctuary. In this case, Bastion. Uh, many people consider Bruce or this the best deck. Uh, Barrow Magnus is also putting in work. I saw in Japanese results even uh, the Overdress deck doing well. So honestly, they're all pretty good. It's funny how Tomari and Megumi seem to be the ones that are doing not the best. But personally, I, I prefer Megumi, so it's whatever. I'll still play it. So here we have Bastion. So if you are into paladins and knights, this might be for you. Once again, we have our ride line. I do want to go through it quickly enough to, to not make this last a century. So we have our grade 3s. Uh, we have even more grade 3s. This entire deck, essentially, is trying to attack with a bunch of grade 3s. And then get, get skills of that. So we have our Vanillas. We have our uh, good boy. We have our perfect guards. We have our over trigger. We have our crit. We have this angel looking thing. Triggers. And we have our heals. And of course, we have this order. Once again, grade 3. This entire deck is trying to bash your opponent's skull in with grade 3s. I hope this was a cool little introduction to all the decks. Again, if you want to buy anything, go to 50cards.shop. Use the code SOLEMN. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you soon. Ciao.